Come on. I love birds. I love Dumbledore's phoenix. I wanted to have one thing that was quintessentially American. Thunderbird is a magnificent, powerful, regal creature. The inspiration came from the bald eagle, the dignity and the nobility of those birds of prey. Incredible, statuesque, and with multiple wings, with a beautiful way of flying. Thunderbird was called Frank. I found him in Egypt where he'd been trafficked. We're going to put you back where you belong, aren't we, Frank? Thunderbirds are incredibly valuable. Help me. <laughs> no. The great big Thunderbird flies down and they have an interaction. And for us, that's about giving an eye line, so we'll give them a point so they can all be looking at the same thing. We could play with it almost like quite a quick swoop down to his hand. But it's There's a bit more of a surprise, but it's just, just about playing with Eddie. And, and. And then when the Thunderbird's down on the rock, we want to provide something for them to have a real interaction with, which is more than just a tennis ball on a stick. Which gives a sense of character, something that's alive, in the same way that working with an actor would do. And one of the things very important is for Eddie to get a sense of what his counterpart is, especially since his relationship to these animals is so strong and so important. It's quite nice to have some push, as in like I'm going to push against him, put you back where you belong, aren't we, Frank? Yes. Frank plays a, a fundamental role in ability to change the weather. He goes up and sends a potion that's going to make all of New York forget what they've just seen. It wraps the film up beautifully because in the end the whole purpose of Newt going to America was to deal with this beast. I think it's a sort of great symbol on that sense of hope that it will do well.